Okay, once again, I'm trying to show how to get two helmets into the 2018 Goldwing. Now, this is how I used to put the helmets in my 2012. And, uh, of course, there was a lot more room. But as you can see, the helmets will fit in here, even with the um, Bluetooth headsets that I have installed. But when I go to close the trunk, it just simply will not close because this HJC, which is a medium, I'm sorry, which is a large, <clears throat> um, is just too tall. You have to turn it a specific way uh, to get it to fit. This is an Arai three-quarter small helmet, which is my girlfriend's helmet. And the two of these together in this configuration will not fit. Now, let's try another configuration that I saw online recently. I want to see if it'll work. The video that I saw online showed a guy in Italy putting two Nolan N104s, I think they were, um, in this particular configuration. Uh, I've tried it both with the Arai with the face mask facing that direction and with the uh, awry facing forward. I can't get it to work either way. It will fit, but it just won't, it won't close and latch. So I don't know how he was able to get two Nolan helmets modular in that Goldwing. I saw him do it. Uh, maybe, maybe it's just the shape or the design of the Nolan helmet. Um, but it will not work with an HJC Cymax 3 and an Arai 3 quarter. This is a small, this is a large, and I can't get both of them to fit at the same time. I'm going to keep playing with it and see if I can figure out how to do it. And this is not what's preventing the, uh, I mean it is preventing it from closing, but you can close the trunk with this helmet on its side, but you need to turn it just a little bit to get this to go up into the highest part up in here in the highest part of the trunk and you can't do it with this helmet in place okay my last attempt was to try to put the modular helmet in and open up the uh, the chin bar to see if I could maybe get a different angle and I tried it with this helmet facing forward backward both ways and it still will not latch no matter what I do, I guess I could probably force it, but I wouldn't want to do that. I don't want to damage the uh, interior uh, upper liner of the trunk. And, uh, and you know, here's the frustrating part. This trunk is hard to close even without this helmet in here, just the three quarter. It's this awry that's sticking up higher than even this, um, you can kind of see it. I'm not sure if you can tell from the photo, but you can see how high that awry sticks up. I honestly think a different shape helmet um, here, maybe even a modular helmet, would fit. It could possibly fit. Obviously the guy in Italy made it work. But you know, the frustrating part is you're only talking about a half an inch. If, if Honda had just added a half an inch to this lid, uh, it, it would close no problem. It wouldn't have to be um, a huge difference. It just needs a slight modification. You're not going to tell me that half an inch would have destroyed the overall design and look of this motorcycle. So, again, my two helmets will not fit in the trunk no matter how I put them in. But I can see where with laying one helmet on its side like this, putting the other one in straight, you know, normally like this, you might actually be able to get two helmets in there and get it to close. Well, as you can see, my trunk is latched. It's closed. And believe it or not, there are two helmets inside that trunk. Now I'm going to show you what I had to do. Something I would have never thought of. Ah, but I got a false latch when I did it. That means that when I press the button, hear the sound? It will not unlatch. Now, this is a bug or a flaw in this trunk latch mechanism. It may be when you get the trunk latched but not fully engaged, it will not release. So you have to kind of pound on it, mess with it a few times, and sometimes you can get it to open. I'm going to mess with it, and then I'll come back with you and show you what I did. 
I was able to get the trunk to open, the lid to open. I had to bang on it a few times on the uh, passenger backrest to get it to release. <laughs> you know, it's always something with this trunk, but what I did was I was able to put the awry, the small awry helmet on its side without the Cena 20S installed, and I put the HJC standing up. It's still not a good fit. You have to really fiddle with it to get it positioned just right for this to close. Again, the frustration is that all Honda had to do was add a quarter to a half an inch in height on this lid or lowering the floor of the trunk a half to a quarter of an inch and everything would have fit perfectly. It still would be a little clunky and not as good as the old gold wing, but at least you could get two helmets in the trunk. We're talking a quarter to a half an inch would have made a difference. Okay, one more update. I tried one more way to get two helmets, these two helmets, a large Cymex 3 and a small Arai 3 quarter into this trunk. It is latched right now, as you can see. It's not open. And it will open. I doubt I got it to latch reliably. There it goes. Well, let me show you what I had to do. Both helmets have to go on their side. I had to remove, and this right now I had a Cardo, uh, this little Cardo uh, Bluetooth. You can't have the headset installed or the, the uh, communicator installed. I had to remove that, put this helmet outside as you see here, put the Arai helmet on its side as you see here with no Cena 20S installed. The reason I have two different ones is because I'm doing some testing on the Cardo and the Cena. And believe it or not, if you do that, the trunk will close and will latch. As you can hear, it did latch. And it will unlatch. So if you want to get two helmets into your Goldwing, give this a try. Try different positions on the sides, standing up. This is the only way I was able to get these two helmets to fit.